Today we look at five random Timu and AliExpress items, including a neck fan. Yes, you heard that right. And something that looks like an umbrella, but it isn't. Are these modestly priced gadgets worth your hard end? Let's find out. First up, we've got the Xiaomi neck fan. You can see the vents around the top there. That's where the air comes out. I found it lasts about five hours or so on the charge at pretty much, well, full pelt. Um, I'm about to model it for you to show you how you wear it. Arguably, I look ridiculous. You look ridiculous. I suppose you could get away with these looking like a set of headphones if you're walking down the street. The aesthetics are a matter entirely for you. So I thought I'd step you through the five different levels so you get an idea of the noise. This is the first level. Uh, I then step it up to uh, level two. And as you go up the levels, the fan's working harder. So the volume increases. I use this on a 35 degree Brisbane day high humidity the sound got irritating after about an hour uh, and the cooling effect i would describe as modest at its highest so that noise can be a factor what the hell? now you may have noticed those metal plates now, some of these more expensive neck fans as i understand it have some sort of active cooling with that plate to be fair i don't recall that this did uh, but i thought i'd do a bit of a test so uh, this is uh, when the unit's not on um, and so I've measured the temperature there at 21.3 degrees C. I then let it run for five minutes or so and come back uh, and you can see there the temperature within the margin of error it hasn't changed so there's no active cooling on this device as far as I can see. So what do I think of the Xiaomi neck fan? I tried this in 35 degree high humidity Brisbane heat marginal at best the noise became irritating. In fact, that downside exceeded any marginal benefit that I could see from the device. In cooler temperatures up to 30 degrees C with lower humidity, I actually found this thing made a difference. I've seen some clips on the interwebs uh, for middle-aged women in particular who are going through that particular stage of life who swear by these things. So is this a tick or a flick? It's a tick from me. I'd recommend it. All right, second up, we're looking at an electric can opener that runs off double A batteries. You can see that uh, there's a button on top that's used to activate. The sound is pretty excruciating, uh, I have to say. So um, I'll show you in a second the battery compartment. The springs uh, weren't working properly, and so it wasn't forcing the other end of the battery to contact. So at first I thought it didn't work, but then I realized that was the problem. Now, I have used this a couple of times, it worked perfectly. I tried to film opening this, uh, but um, I had a technology fail, but that worked perfectly. So uh, for the camera, I thought I'd get another example and I'm very glad I did. Uh, so this is a can of pink salmon. Uh, so um, I tried it initially on the top of the can and you'll see here I had some trouble getting it started. Uh, it's uh, eventually made some movement, but it made absolutely no impression on the can uh, whatsoever, uh, but continued to grind away in a rather, let's say, irritating manner. Oh, my ears. Oh. So I thought, let's flip it over and try the other side. Uh, again, that was a bad move. So you could see it rests fairly well in the ordinary course around the lip and there's a little magnet in the middle which no doubt helps it stick to the top as it rotates around. You can see it starts to rotate. Um, apologies for the grinding. Uh, so mind you, this was making no impression on the tin whatsoever. Eventually it got jammed and I have to say I had a hell of a job um, extricating it from the can. So what do I think of the electric can opener? You wouldn't want your life to depend on this device to open a can for you. I'd say stick to a normal can opener. Tick or flick? This is an obvious flick for me. Our third item is a compass. What more can I say? It seems to work. Cheap as chips. The reason I have a compass, I keep it in the cabin. When I pull up at a site, I can get my bearings work out which way to park the van or the motorhome. Uh, quite often I park east-west 
so that the sun ends up going uh, across front to back or back to front uh, of the van. So tick or flick for me, this is an easy tick. Item number four, no, it's not an umbrella. It's a foldable car sunshield. Again, pretty cheap, around uh, $7 Australian. So I'll give you a bit of a demo here and um, spoiler alert, it doesn't go very well. So um, here I'm opening it to its full extension. Uh, it almost covers the length of the uh, windscreen. I was a bit worried that it, it would be far too short, but that was okay. But then um, trying to shoehorn this thing in into place when I've got a big rear vision mirror or rear vision camera, um, more like it. Uh, so um, I'm fumbling around here to try and find the switch, the button, to um, unfold it. Uh, so I find that and then I try and bend it around uh, the back there, which concerned me because this thing pretty flimsy, I have to say. Uh, and then I tried to extend it without any luck. So uh, here it is um, in situ. Um, I suppose it's covering the dash. It's probably not um, providing a lot of um, insulation because it's, it's not up against the, the windscreen itself. So what do I think of this? In my respectful opinion, it's utter rubbish. This one gets the flick from me. And we come to our fifth and final product, a mini electric shaver, which is rechargeable via USB-C. It actually feels pretty solid. It's a nice blue hue color on the device. And when you turn it on, it actually offers a surprising amount of power. Um, you'll see here it's um, doing a little break dance on the table. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? It's nice and compact. It doesn't take up much space to throw into the medicine cabinet in the van or the motorhome or the caravan. So what do I think? Does it shave as close as a blade? Absolutely not. If you need a quick, rough touch-up without using any water, then this thing's pretty much well ideal. It gets the tick from me. All right, thank you very much for watching. Appreciate that. I'll see you on the next one.